Is there anything better in life than the smell of sauteing onion and garlic? I don't think so. Sometimes the simplest things in life are the most delicious. <laughs> Guys, make sure you check out my brand new weight loss recipes ebook called No More Cabbage Soup, where I show you over a hundred delicious and easy plant-based recipes that you won't believe are great for sustainable weight loss. Link is down below. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another meal prep video. I am doing a meal prep and my challenge was to do a meal prep for $30, okay? So we're talking $30 USD, okay? Not $30 CAD. Canadian dollar is, um, it is nothing compared to the US dollar. What is happening to the Canadian dollar right now? I have no idea. So I spent about $38.24 Canadian dollars. That comes out to be $29.48 US dollar. Can you believe there was a time when Canadian dollar was equal to the US dollar. Weird times, okay? About 30 US dollars. This does not include like spices and you know, some small condiments. I'll leave a list of the things that I included because I feel like spices and stuff, it's really hard to just add those in because these are things I already have. But basically I counted all of the kind of, you know, main ingredients that I purchased to do this meal prep. So yeah, about 30 US dollars. I am going to see how much food I can make. I feel like I can make a lot of food with $30. Right now, you know, groceries are extortionate. It is so expensive. Everything is so expensive. So now is the best time to do some meal prepping. Hopefully I can give you some tips along the way on how to save money. Meal prepping is always a good idea to save money, save future time, and also allow you to stick to a certain fitness goal or nutritional goal, and also allow you to stick to a plant-based diet much more easily. Yeah, those are the benefits of meal prepping, and I used to meal prep all the time. Anyways, I am going to show you guys a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner idea. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you guys. So for breakfast, I wanted to make some burrito. Burritos, okay? Burritos you can make using a lot of cheap, affordable ingredients. So I'm gonna make some mushroom black bean burritos. Let's jump right into it. So first we have a large pan, non-stick, okay? We're gonna add a little bit of oil. Use a cheap oil, my friends, okay? Vegetable oil, very cheap. Canola oil, very cheap. Actually nowadays, I heard canola oil has gotten more expensive, but either way, it's cheaper than like olive oil and stuff like that. So I just use a cheap oil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just heat that up nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to saute some onion. I have some sliced onion here. A little piece of mushroom got caught in there. So I'm just going to saute this for a little bit. And then we're gonna add in mushrooms. Now mushrooms are relatively affordable. Okay, I just buy normal cremini mushrooms. These tend to be cheaper. I feel like mushrooms are different prices wherever you go. So let me know, are mushrooms cheap where you are or are they expensive? Oyster mushrooms are so good, but they're really expensive here. But I feel like they're cheaper in other areas of the world. Let me know because I wanna move to the area where oyster mushrooms are cheap. Anyways, let's throw in our mushrooms. So obviously we're doing mushroom black bean burritos. So I added quite a bit of mushroom. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna layer it with a little bit of salt. Let's add a little pinch of salt here. And I'm just gonna let this cook for a couple minutes. Let the mushrooms sweat a little bit. Let the onions cook. And then we can move on to the next step. Now the mushrooms are sweating nicely, you know, and the onions have softened. Now I'm just gonna add in some rice. I'm just using jasmine rice because we're gonna actually use jasmine rice for another recipe. I actually cooked this yesterday. So it's just like day old rice. So I'm just gonna add that in. By the way, all the measurements guys are gonna be all in a blog post, link down below as always, my friends, okay? So don't worry. And we're also gonna add in some black beans. I have a can here of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. We're gonna throw this in. It's gonna be high protein. This is actually very healthy and beans are so cheap, guys. I got five cans of beans for $5, okay? It was like on sale. Cans of beans, they last like forever, so I always go through them like crazy. I was like, I'm gonna get five. I'll go through it by next week. Also, if you really wanna save money, you could also cook your beans from dry. So like, cook your beans at home, okay? I used to do that a lot when I lived in London because it was like, a lot cheaper to cook my own beans. You can just cook it in bulk and portion it out, throw it into your freezer or fridge. Anyways, here we are. We got some beans, we got some rice, we got some mushroom, we got some onion. And then we have here a mixture of spices. So in here we have cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and some salt. We're gonna throw this in. So you gotta add that flavor, okay? So with spices, you guys, you can just buy a bunch and you can do so much. They last for a very long time, except for my garlic powder. 
I go through garlic powder like crazy. It's always good to have a bunch of different spices. All of these spices that I just put in here, you can use it for so many different recipes. I didn't count these to my total price, but I already have these already. There you go, my arm. My arm's getting a workout. Guys, I went on a trip to London and I ate everything in sight, so I definitely need to do a little healthy meal prep, okay? Whenever I'm on vacation, I'm like, ah, vacation calories don't count at all, so. <laughs> Finally, I'm just going to directly add in some salsa. Um, yeah, <laughs> add in some moisture in here. Um, I might need to add a little more, let's see. And of course, when I'm eating this, I usually eat it with a side of salsa as well. Mm. And of course, you can add in anything else in here if you want to add some chili peppers, bell pepper if you want to slice that in and throw it in here, that would be really nice. Bell peppers are expensive though, so I'm leaving that out. Okay, now I'm just going to give this a taste and see if I need to add anything else. Mmm! Mmm! I don't think I need to add anything else. Maybe a little pepper? Mm-hmm. Maybe a little more salsa. Yeah! Just throw in a little more salsa. Little more salsa never hurt anybody. Mushroom, black bean, rice, very simple, very easy. You know, and you can just eat it like this. You don't even have to put it in a wrap. It saves more money, but everything tastes better in a wrap. You know what I'm saying? And of course you can serve it with a side of guac if you are fancy, you know. So this is done. Ooh, I'm just splashing everywhere. So this is the inside of the burrito. So let's make some burritos. We got some uh, wraps here. We have some tortillas, okay? Kind of medium sized, you know? I feel like I can make about five, but let's see. One. And I believe these will freeze nicely. I always overfill my wraps, so I'm trying to be careful here. Again, feel free to add in whatever you want, but I kind of want to make these freezable, so I don't want to put in any like anything crazy that won't freeze well, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but if you're eating it right away, you can add in like lettuce and you know, other veggies and whatever you want, okay? Vegan cheese, look at that, you guys. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I think I can make a total of four. That's my guesstimation. See you guys? Simple, easy, look how easy that was. And rice and beans, some of the cheapest foods out there, my friends. And it's actually very healthy as well. If anyone tells you that beans aren't healthy, do not listen to them. There's so much proof, okay, that beans are very good for you. So I would say this makes around four to five wraps, depending on how big your tortilla wraps are. A Little bit exploding, but that's okay. There we go. Little explosion, never hurt anybody. This one's for the hungrier day, and this one is for the slightly less hungry day. There you go, I made five burritos, guys. And that was very quick, very easy. I'm gonna wrap them up in probably like a parchment paper, and then whenever I'm ready to eat, I'll probably microwave it for a bit, and then maybe like toast it. I really think these would freeze really well, so you could freeze it and then heat it up. Let's wrap these up. This can be a lunch or a dinner. You can just swap it, whatever you want. I wanted to make a vegan spinach pasta. And I wanted to, of course, keep it really simple and really easy. So let's just jump right in. Little oil on a large wok or a pan. It's already heated, so lovely. And then what you want to do is we're gonna saute, saute, saute. Some onions, again, thinly sliced. We're also gonna add in garlic. I'm a big fan of garlic. We're adding in quite a bit of minced garlic. If you guys want to know my garlic hack, my minced garlic hack, where you can have minced garlic all day long, then I will link my hack video down below. Okay. Is there anything better in life than the smell of sauteing onion and garlic? I don't think so. Now that the onions are softening, can you hear me? It's very loud over here. We're gonna add some mushroom. So this is just leftover mushroom from our previous recipe. This is optional, but I have some mushrooms left over, so I might as well use it for this recipe, you see? So we're just gonna throw the rest of the mushrooms in. We're just gonna cook that up. God, it smells so good. Okay, so now we're gonna let the mushrooms cook a little bit for a couple minutes. By the way, I already have my pasta cooking. So before you make this, you wanna start boiling your water, you wanna start cooking your pasta, because this is a very quick process. Get that ready, get that going, okay? All right. So, this looking good, this looking good. Now what I wanna do is add spinach. We're making vegan spinach pasta, guys. Okay, so we're adding in spinach. I'm using baby spinach. I always buy the ones that are like pre-washed and in the package. It's just easier, it makes my life easier. I eat spinach a lot more. 
So I'm just gonna throw it in, and of course it's gonna cook very fast. You know how spinach is. It's gonna turn into nothing, okay? I'm adding in like four cups in here. Okay, three to four cups, because I know it's gonna turn into nothing, so. <laughs> I might as well add quite a bit. Mix this around to let this kind of wilt just a bit. Guys, here's my little hack. I'm using hummus, mm -hmm. store-bought hummus. We're using hummus for the pasta sauce. If you haven't tried hummus pasta, well, here we go. We're adding in quite a generous amount of store-bought hummus. You can make your own hummus too, okay? Ooh, it's like everywhere. And this makes actually a really delicious sauce. I'm using roasted pepper hummus, but you can use whatever hummus you'd like. You can use classic hummus. I feel like I don't want to waste the hummus. Ooh, use whatever hummus you'd like, okay? Mm. See, that spinach turned into absolutely nothing. Um, so here, we have our lovely sauce, and now we're gonna throw in our pasta. Mmm, looks so good. So I have here some paschetti. We're gonna throw that in. I also saved some pasta water, okay? So I'm just going to toss that in. So I cook the pasta just slightly below, what do you call it, slightly al dente, al dente. You just wanna cook the rest of it in the pan with all the sauce, okay? Look at that. Mmm. Yep, it's that easy, guys. Sometimes the simplest things in life are the most delicious. Oh, my arm's getting a workout this video. Now, people, now, what are we missing? Protein, there is protein in the hummus, but you know me, I like to add an extra bit of protein because it makes this more filling, okay? Of course, my trusty chickpeas. Yeah, chickpeas. <laughs> Rinsed and drained. We're gonna add that in. And chickpeas are, of course, great source of protein, very good for you. Once again, I got these for a dollar a can, a Canadian dollar, okay? It's like 80 cents or something. Very, very cheap. At the end here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice. This is gonna help bring out the flavor even more so. Lemon juice is really great to add before you add salt and pepper because it makes it, it makes your food so flavorful without salt. So it requires you to add less salt. So that's why I really like it. Oh my God, this looks so good, doesn't it? You guys, let's give this a taste. Mmm, you guys, it's really tasty. So simple. I'm gonna turn this off. All I need to do is add just a little bit of salt. And of course you can add in other veggies. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Just a pinch of salt. You can add in other veggies as you like, as always. This is just a nice base for you to work with. We're also gonna add in some pepper. All right, mix this. I would say this is about three to four servings. And you can heat this up for lunch or dinner. Spinach pasta, spinach hummus pasta. Delicious, delicious and easy and cheap. Yay. We're gonna make a final recipe. Once again, you can eat this for lunch or dinner. And I'm really excited for this. We are gonna try making a Thai style fried rice, but vegan. So this is inspired by a recipe I saw on YouTube that is not a vegan recipe, but I will link that original recipe down below. Very exciting. So of course, once again, we have a pan here. This is a non-stick. We are going to add some oil, of course. We are just going to heat that up and make sure the pan or wok is nice and hot. This is very hot at this moment. Then we're gonna add in, once again, I feel like we're always starting the same way. Once again, we're gonna add in some sliced onion, okay? Let's cook the onion for a couple minutes, okay? Or one minute. Allow this to soften. Mm. I can't believe I used to not like onions. Okay, what is it about onions that kids don't like? Because I think a lot of kids don't like onions, but then later we like, you know, grow up and we're like, okay, onions are great. Now we're gonna add in some garlic. Once again, we love garlic, so we're adding in some minced garlic. At the same time, we're also gonna add in some Thai chilies. I have two here that are sliced. I don't know how spicy these are, so that's why I'm being very careful with how much I add. You can skip that part, obviously, if you don't like spice. Okay, so we're just gonna saute this for a couple minutes. Ooh. Oh guys, I think it's spicy. Ooh. I think it's spicy. Maybe because I added like onion, garlic, and Thai chilies. I got like a very strong spice sensation. Now, we're gonna add in a tomato. I have a tomato that's just like roughly chopped. We're just gonna add this in. Beautiful. Now, I'm sure there are many different kinds of Thai fried rice, but this one used tomato and I was like, hey, that sounds delicious. Oh, we're also gonna add in some um, cabbage. I have here some shredded cabbage. Cabbage is like really cheap. I recommend using cabbage, okay? Because we're not gonna add egg, we wanna add some tofu. I kinda wanna cook the tofu a little bit along with the veggies. So I'm gonna actually put the veggies to the side here. And I have here 
some extra firm tofu. I think one would be too much, so let's start with half. We're gonna add a little bit more oil to the side here. And we're gonna cook up half a block of extra firm tofu. Now I'm just going to crumble it as if I'm making scrambled tofu, because that's kind of what we're doing here. Now, if you want, you can use vegan egg, like just egg or something, but that's expensive. And tofu is such a great replacement for egg in my opinion, so we're gonna use tofu. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just going to toss it a little bit. <coughs> you guys, something is, something is definitely spicy. Okay, the Thai chilies guys are not for the faint hearted, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on the tofu. I feel like I wanna layer the flavors a little bit. I kinda wanna brown the tofu just a little bit. Let this cook for a few minutes and then we can mix it all together and complete it. Basically, you wanna cook the tofu, make sure it's not very like watery, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm just gonna mix it all. And now we can add in our rice. I have here some jasmine rice. I cooked this yesterday, so it's a day old. Now preferably you wanna use like day old rice or rice that you've cooked a few hours ago. That way it's a little bit dried out. So we're gonna add this in. Nice and dry. Mm. So this is jasmine rice. We got that tofu for that protein. Now we can season. So now we have regular soy sauce. And then I finally, guys, guys, I finally bought dark soy sauce. I feel like a cook. <laughs> We're gonna have some dark soy sauce. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, definitely gives that lovely dark color. You know. So the thing is, the non-vegan version adds fish sauce, okay? And I did find a vegan fish sauce recipe, which I will link down below, but I'm lazy and I don't wanna make vegan fish sauce. I looked at the recipe, the ingredients for vegan fish sauce, and I was like, eh, I could just kinda wing it, you know? So I kinda just like put together some of the ingredients that I think would just kinda mimic the idea of putting in fish sauce. Anyway, whatever. Lime juice, this is fresh lime juice, okay? I'm not playing today. We're gonna add in some fresh lime juice. And also some sugar. This looks like a lot of sugar. Maybe I'll add less sugar. And then, is that it? Oh my God, seems too easy. Well, I'll have to give this a taste. And then of course I can adjust after I give it a taste. But it smells, it smells nice and spicy. I'm glad I only added in two Thai chilies. All right, let's give this a taste. Mmm, mmm. I think I can add in a little bit more of the dark soy sauce. Sugar. Ooh. Oh, you know what would be good in this? Like Thai basil. Mm. All right, let's give it a taste again. Ooh. Mm. That's really good. Definitely has a bit of a kick. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be in terms of like the kick. I'm going to turn the heat off. Mm, that is delicious. Simple yet very delicious. Now I'm going to add in some green onion. Of course, I'm very generous with my green onion. Okay. And, of course, because it's Thai food, some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave. I'm just kidding. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add cilantro, but I love cilantro. Ooh, got that smell of cilantro. I don't know how anyone doesn't like cilantro. Team cilantro, guys, team cilantro. Comment down below. Now we can plate it. This should make about, I don't know, four servings, three to four servings, depending on how hungry you are. $30-ish. I've got a breakfast, I have a lunch, I have a dinner, and I also have tons of ingredients left over for more food. Hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to make a lot of vegan food for cheap. I know that, you know, it is tough times, guys. It is tough times right now. Things are so expensive. Gas is crazy. I mean, I don't even understand where the world is going, but hopefully this video helped you just a little bit. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And of course, check out the blog post that will be linked down below. All of the recipes will be in a blog post. So check that out. And of course, give me a little five-star review if you did enjoy the recipes. Those five-star reviews help me a lot on the blog post. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of these recipes. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Oh, and also I will leave a playlist down below with all of my other meal prep videos. So check those out if you are interested in more meal prep ideas and inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!